Hey guys, I need reinforcements. The light does not work very well in my room. Because the dark video symbolizes current events. Cheers. You really, really have a long way ahead of you. Guys, I'm going to be struggling with my speech because I'm still wearing my braces. The trick is to keep the interest, okay? Even if you have low expectations. I'm bracing myself. And so should you. So, if you would like to remain for the rest of this video, I would really appreciate it. However, if you would like to leave, I guess you won't know what happens next. Nobody really does. Not even experts. It's gonna be a rough night. Portrait drawing. Hey, one pencil should suffice. <laughs> Always gotta have your eraser. Remember guys, erasers are not just fixing tools. There are drawing tools too. You gotta have your second kind of eraser. Kind of disgusting looking gum. Very soft. The purpose of which is to take away from the copious amount of graphite you tend to apply to the paper and eventually realize that things are getting too shady. So have a handy dandy squishy. Look at that. I should probably tell you what it is. This is called a kneaded eraser. Always have your exacto knife. Never a pencil sharpener. Basically your graphite needs to be exposed. A pencil sharpener does not allow it to be itself and freed. I would say start with a dollar tip because what you want to do is make an impression. You want to start gradually understanding your drawing. If you do find yourself staring at a blank piece of paper that has been worked, then uh, you may be off to a rough start. Keep it short, Mina. Keep it short. People who know me private ask me, Mina, what is up with you in politics lately? I don't know. They go bricks in my heart and they expect me to be indifferent. I don't think so. Who's on today's agenda? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> Soon enough. You also need painter's tape. You can build by a few needs. But basically, it's paper tape that you can use to secure your paper to the board. Preparation. That would do. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Compose yourself and the figure. No matter who it is and how famous they are. You need your reference as well, but I'm not going to show you who I'm drawing for a few reasons. One, I want to keep it a mystery until the end. Two, right? Wow, that paper. <laughs> Guys, please, please protect your materials. This should never be the case. This means you were reckless with your art supplies. The one way to tell if your paper is actually of good quality is by waiting a few years. <laughs> If it's gone yellow, that means that it is not acid-free. It's probably going to fall apart sooner. So, first thing, form the basic structure. What is a face? Consisted of features. So you gotta find the middle. Actually, preferably you draw from life, guys. Most helpful way to learn. Because if there's something that you do not understand, you can always go around and check it. Have that privilege working with a life model. Whereas a photograph could be very misleading. If you're not familiar with anatomy, you may find yourself struggling with a bad photo. In this case, I cannot work from a life model. And you will find out why. Please ignore these waves of insecurity. You really need to jump right into it. Even if it is in familiar waters, do your best to just secure your nerves, just like this paper, to the board and hope for the best outcome. This is the beginning, guys. Mark your shoulders because just remember that slogan, head and shoulders. If you have a head, it can't be floating bodilessly. You gotta connect it. I'll tell you what, one, two, three, four essential lines. Nose, eyes, bottom of nose, lips. After you have composed your face, eyeballing it, it's probably a good idea to measure things. Preferably when you measure, get a longer pencil. There you go. This should do. Try not to drop your pencils. 
When you measure, guys, you always kind of have to keep your arm straight, kind of like playing tennis. Do not bend your elbow because then you will not have an accurate perception of the measurements you have previously done. You have to determine top and bottom of the face. It's my golden pencil, guys. It's running out. Do it at arm's length. Very important. Pick the longest part of your object and measure everything to it. Everything else that is smaller than it should correspond to the largest part would be the length of the face or head. Close one eye and measure the forehead. Take the top of the pencil to be your indicator of your hairline and with your thumb, it helps having long nails guys. Mark the very place where the eyebrows start. Check it a few times, make sure it's right. Now move it down, let the speech flow. You have gotten this right. What is measurement? If you find yourself slowly roasting on your seat, lie your way around, find a bed, and lay down for a sec. <gasps> oh no! Guys, <laughs> try not to drop your pencils on the floor because as you sharpen them, graphite will keep on breaking off. There are cracks that happen in the graphite. <gasps> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> A golden pencil because I really 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 was looking forward to a brighter future. Yeah. Break stairs. <sighs> My dreams are broken. The ties are broken, guys. There is no turning back. Guys, I'm an artist. These gotta be the aftershocks of the great earthquake that Brexit was. To all of my international friends, you probably will not get those jokes. Well, I guess we're all in the pickle. Have you been drawing for a little while? Distance yourself from your drawing. Take a step back from politics and assess what you have achieved. Is the future bright and promising? Or do you need to start all over again? You might soon start recognizing some distinct characteristics. to make a longer lasting impression. The higher that contrast. Introduce a darker backstage. Is this not your regular thing? Your regular visitor? Then you may have to issue it a visa. Uh, allow it to drop by every once in a while and stimulate the local economy. Get those highlights, guys. You need to separate your shadows if they're merging too much. Don't forget when you are trying to cover an area and quickly, use the side of the pencil. That's why you need to sharpen your pencil and expose your graphite pretty long. Yes. Hold the pencil as if you're holding a conductor stick. It is much easier to control and it's very swift when it comes to covering larger areas. Yeah, see, this is why you need to sharpen your pencil because your wood is saying, nope, you're not allowed. You need a visa. I have a point, guys. I promise. If your model has a very spirited, wild, and unrestrained hairstyle, display the speaker of the Chamber of the House of Commons and yell at it. Order! Order! It's worth a try. Listen, we gotta have respect for this right and honorable gentleman. The same way he is to show us. 
respect. The function of an artist really is to observe and scrutinize and challenge the rule of the government. Just like an MP or any of the ministers in the House of Commons. Don't worry about making errors in the process as long as you eventually reach the truth. Fix that hair. Alright? It's just racist. I withdraw that statement. We need to, to be more certain of where our boundaries are. We may be migrating into unfriendly political territories. We gotta draw that line. Or erase it in that case. Keep going. It may take a while. Uh, reforms don't happen overnight, guys. The same issue over and over. Examine another side of things. Lighter side. Find a few highlights. Perhaps come back and revisit some issues that are as important. Well, we're getting lost. Who's in charge? Who's to say? Your pencil is not doing so well. So let's make an effort to deliver Mr. Brexit here. I've said that with love. We have a serious problem here. Graphite is loose and wants to leave. Wooden shell. However, when we're trying to pull it out, it's not budging. What is the meaning of the situation? All those Brexiteers, man. The more you take away from this wooden shell, the easier it is for the graphite to actually come out. See? What does that mean? I would not like for the EU to fall apart. How do you how do you fix that? You certainly need a sharper edge, or you certainly need to make smarter decisions. You know, stay in. You want them to remain within that lovely shell that unites everyone and makes it stronger and easier to work with.